Hello, Bitwig certified end user and professional DJ, Vic Vapor with you, and welcome to my Bitwig Studio 2.3 course. Before we get started, I just want to say if it's the first time you're visiting the Martini Lounge channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and click on the little bell and we'll see you inside. Okay, welcome back. DJ Vic Vapor with you. And in this video, I want to talk about scenes and the power of scenes and how you can kind of manipulate clips within scenes to uh, start a real basic rudimentary arrangement. And that's kind of what we'll focus on right now. So currently we've got uh, two different drum clips playing on the Beats channel. And I like the first one. Well, wait a minute. And you know what? We'll keep the second one. I like it a little bit better. So I want to get rid of this first one. And a couple things you need to know too, if it feels like it's a little small in here, I can hover over right here and drag this out to make more room for myself self as far as the view here. You know, or I could even hide the actual arrange timeline by clicking this guy right here. But for now, I'll just drag that out. And if I wanted to add another scene, I can simply continued by just clicking the plus button. So anyhow, let's get rid of this first clip, this first drum loop, and I'll just simply select it and I'll hit delete on the keyboard and it's gone. So now I want to take this clip and go ahead and put it back here in this spot because I want it to play at the beginning of our um, arrangement. So I can um, just simply click, drag, and drop. So pretty cool, right? Now, what happens is we've got, you see the launch button next to the word scene and the number which scene we're in. We've got this option now to play both of these at the same time, simply by launching here. So now we've got our drums and our synth loop playing together in what's called a scene, which will launch all the clips that are available as far down as our project allows. But let's think a little bit about the structure of a song in a very basic manner. I don't want anyone to take this video and think this is the end all be all in creating a project. Again, this is for just allowing you access in, in your workflow within Bitwig if you're new to Bitwig or just if you're migrating from another DAW. I wanna stress that this course isn't in any way going into advanced details. I'll have plenty of those videos available as uh, the days go forward. So. When you think of a song structure, not everything comes in at once, you know? So what we might want to do is go ahead and move our synth loop out to about scene three. And we'll have these first two scenes be focusing on our drums. So I've got, what's going to happen now is, if I hit scene one, I've just got the drums playing, right? And let's say this was back here. If I hit scene two, the drums stop. And the reason for that is right here within this clip area, there's a stop button. So when I hit the scene launch, it actually activated the stop button and the play button for this loop. So essentially it stopped playing the beats. So I'm going to drag this back over to three and let go of it there and we'll leave it there. And we want to extend our beats out to, to uh, join our synth loop into scene three. And we want to make some sort of progression for like the early beginning of a track. So we need to duplicate this guy. So I've got a couple options. I can hold down the alt key, drag and drop. I can right click and simply select duplicate right here from this contextual menu. Or I can go to the add button or no, I'm sorry, not the add. I've already got it pinned. I was going to go in here and pin. I can go here and hit the duplicate. As long as I have this selected and hit duplicate, it'll duplicate into the next uh, spot for me. Now, if this isn't pinned to your um, toolbar, go to your edit and go to your duplicate slot and select the pin. And again, that'll customize your toolbar at the top. So now that we've got that duplicated, I don't necessarily want, these are even though it's the same loop of drums, these are now different clips that I can treat differently. So I'm going to take the first one and actually do some 
variations to it so that when the second one comes in, it sounds different. So what I want to do, the first one is, we'll go over here to our inspector panel, and you can see down below that it's telling me, you know, start and stop time and all that stuff up top here. But down below, it's also giving me an option to change the pitch. And I'm going to change the pitch probably drastically, but I'm going to change it minus 12. So now this clip, the pitch of this clip is different from the pitch of this clip, even though they're the same loop. They're being treated as different uh, events. Also, I can see now that this clip is playing at 132. So you don't have to, but I'm going to just go ahead and take our project tempo up to 132. And everything will kind of be matched up there for us. So let's play this first one. And I'll stop that synth. I don't want to hear that. I just want to hear the drums. And I hit my space bar to stop everything. But now you can see there's a com completely different vibe between those two. So moving forward, though, as developing this towards like a track kind of development, we want to make sure that our beats are out here in scene three. So we'll go ahead and duplicate those one more time. Now they're matched up. So we'll have beats with our synth. But what I want to do is um, add something different here, like a top loop or a percu percussion type sound. So I'll select this, um, this area and I'll hit the letter B on the keyboard. And now we're back into here. Go back into our beat port area and they have some top loops. And these are percussion sounds that kind of fill in the gaps between, you know, your your kick drum and whatever else is playing within your loop. But let's just sample a few of these. I kind of like that one, so we'll take it. So now I've got a top loop that comes in on scene two to match our drums. And actually what I want to do though is show you it real quick here. It really wasn't a mistake, but it's just a train of uh, my thought process was a little off. So what's going to happen in this current arrangement is the loops won't be available when the synth is available in scene three. So I want to right click, add audio track, and bring this down here. So now our track begins to grow and the loops will duplicate the top loop. Now we've got all three of our elements. So we've got one element, two elements, and then all three of our elements. And we can kind of progress in that very rudimentary way as though we've developed a track. So let's take a listen to how this would work out for us. So there you go, the real basic rudimentary way and showing you the power of scene launching and utilizing the clips and kind of, you know, rough sketching an idea out and how you can start to progress that idea and make that idea, you know, more involved within your project. So let's go ahead and move on to our next video.